Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Chirak Pandit and in this video I am going to explain you guys about how would you do a simple record and playback scenario using OpenScript. Uh, I'll be taking one quick simple scenario wherein I'll launch the browser, I'll go to google.com and I'll search for a string of text and I'll wait for the re result page to come in and I'll repeat this for some number of times okay so let's launch our open script so I have already pinned that to our start menu so what I'll do is I'll right click and I'll run as administrator okay once your open script is up and running so what you do is uh, you go to file menu you create a new script uh, what type of script it is since it is a web page recording so you will choose web you click on next you select the repository in which you want to place your script in I'll create a new repository uh, wherein I'll, I'll tell uh, open script training I'll give it a location and in my C and I'll put all my scripts in this path you click on OK and you give your new script a a new name. Uh, I'll give my script as TC01. Uh, Google search. You finish. Once your script is created, uh, what you will see here is key open script will create three different nodes for your script initialize, run, and finish. So if you look at the Java code, what these three nodes are nothing but these three nodes are just plain old Java methods uh, which are in our class script which is extends iterating we use a script. So I won't go into detail much. Uh, I'll, I'll just click on record button and if everything is set up perfectly, uh, it will open up your open script recording toolbar. Uh, what you need to do here is you need to perform your desired actions so our actions was to go to google.com so p colon forza for slash google.com if you look at the background it will generate your code so as and when you perform any action on your browser if you look open script recording it will record all the code in open script so yeah that's it so we have opened up our browser we have searched for something and we entered in you can do as many actions as you want but I'll just go to our second page in this case and I'll close the browser and this will finish up and this will end up your recording if no need to stop it if you want to play it back, let's see whether it gets played back again. It will open up a browser. and it will launch it will go to google.com it will search for the same string which we entered in once it is on and it will click on second page and it will close the browser and yeah once our execution is finished it will generate one report 
the same amount of time how much time did it took for the execution and whether it is passed or failed or not so if you look at the java code here uh, what i'll try to explain here is ki the initial steps which it takes to generate is nothing but it's just a plain old java just like selenium our script in open script is pure uh, java code so if you look at steps what is i'll just walk quickly walk through these steps so what line number 25 here is says is uh, your browser dot launch will open up your browser and web dot window having your about blank navigate that for that window navigate to our url which is google.com and once it is navigated you synchronize that web page meaning you wait for that page for some amount of seconds and you enter in some text in one of these text box which is open script and you hit the enter and you fetch the result page which comes in and you click on page 2 here and you wait for the second page to come in and you close the browser now if i want to repeat these steps again and again you can do that uh, there are two ways to do that either you use your iterator here and you can iterate it for 3 or 4 amount of seconds so let's take i want to iterate it for 3 minutes or 3 iterations you can go ahead and click it it will do the same steps for 3 seconds or uh, you can also use your plain old java uh, algorithm and build your own code so this is the iterator which we have been using in this is step number 1 iteration number 1 this is iteration number 2 and iteration number 3 and yeah you get the idea once our all the iterations are completed you will see the all the iterations have been recorded and each for each iteration there is one result which is generated uh, you can see that results here or i if you are not using an iterate button you can also use our plain old java code which is for iterator over your array so i'll say i equals to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus and you put in all of your code inside your loop which will be iterated for n number of times so what will it will do here is it will always open up a browser it will launch and navigate to google.com it will navigate to our second page it will enter in google open script it will press the enter and wait for the second page and click on that second link uh, and it will wait for the second page to load in and it will close and once our first execution is completed it will go on to the next loop and it will go on doing the same actions so yeah here marks the completion of our simple recording and playback now there will be some problems so these problems if at all if you are facing so most of the times at time of hitting the record button uh you'll see your your browser is not getting launched so what you need to do here is you need to configure uh, your i explore and verify whether these plugins are enabled 
so you go to tools you manage the add-ons and you check for these two add-ons these are enabled uh, you if it it is disabled you right click them and you enable them uh, and in case if there is if you're still facing an error ensure that your browser your open script is running it in an administrator mode uh, and in case it is still giving you an error so what you need to ensure that your services are running in So you ensure that your OpenScript agent as well as OpenScript helper services are running. If they are stopped or if they are still running, you, you try to right click them, you stop them and you restart these services again and again. Uh, if that does not solve your problem, check your GRE version. So you verify whether you have a proper version of 32-bit GRE installed which is supported by OpenScript. So, And yeah, pretty much that's what the problems you might encounter. Uh, but in case, uh, if everything goes smooth, congratulations, you have built your first script in automation with OpenScript. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.